Is liberty dying where you live? Escape to Keen at freekeen.com. The following video was first published to youtube.com slash wearechange. It's being shared here to youtube.com slash thecopblock as it demonstrates how you can use technology to maximize accountability to keep yourself and your community safer. This is Luke Gradowski of wearechange.org, and if, if you've been watching our channel, you've been seeing a lot of altercations with the police. Ricky comes, I think he's got a bomb in his bed. Exactly. I saw wires coming out of there. I think he's got a bomb in his bed. We're being raided right now. You want to give me a camera? Played, no, I don't have to, to give you a camera. camera. No, I don't have to give you a camera. Let's get a picture. Hey, don't don't put your hand on me. Hey, I want charges pressed on this guy. Hey, if you're not doing nothing, nothing wrong, you should mind me anything. filming. You're a pup. Don't assault me. Don't assault me. Don't assault me. Don't hit me. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up. Back up. Ah. What the fuck are you doing? Terrorist act? I guess they go team. away for about We're not terrorists. Days. We're, we're Americans, sir. We're by citizens. The time, well, you're right. By the time the government figures it out, you'll be in a hole for 30 days. So we set up a super setup here, and we're actually joined by Pete, co-founder of CopBlock.org, a great organization that holds police accountable by filming them. Now, we've been in very dangerous situations, so I want to know if I'm ready to be a good cop blocker. I want an assessment from Pete. He's going to let me know if I'm an all right cop blocker, a somewhat good cop blocker, or a super mega great cop blocker. So we're going to find out what we are. So this is basically Pete, our system. We're just going to break it down to you. We have a DSLR here that shoots HD video, uh, and that's been pretty much my baby. I love this thing. It shoots amazing, great video. We have a wireless microphone just to get the great audio, because if you don't get great audio, you know, you're missing on a lot of great evidence. Now, just to make sure my back is fine, uh, we have a GoPro camera set up here, and that works really great. And I wish I would have had this before because we had an undercover cop actually sucker punch me from behind. That's also on our YouTube channel. We're live streaming live on ustream.tv forward slash we are changed through the iPhone right now. So in case anything happens, in case police officers delete my footage like they did before and like they did to many activists throughout the world, it's already live. It's archived. They can't delete it once it's online. Now, just to be super sure, when we're covering things like NATO and the G20 and the G8 and major protests in New York City and Occupy Wall Street where there's pepper spray spr spraying everywhere, we got goggles. Now, other than the goggles, we have a little walkie-talkie. Uh, right now, I'm working by myself. We usually want to have a partner. We just, you know, turn this thing on. But, but even when I don't have anybody, I still pretend like I'm talking to somebody uh, just to let the officer know that there's other people watching and recording from a distance. Now, even if it gets even crazier, we have even another backup system here uh, right in my little side pouch here, and that's video recording glasses. So if it gets really hairy, I just turn on the glasses, put them on, and I'm good to go. So I got four video cameras on me, and just in case that doesn't work, we got another phone here, another smartphone where we can Instagram and Twitter and let everybody know exactly what's happening. So we have all 360 degrees covered. We got it live. Uh, and just to even make sure, we brought an earpiece in that's connected to a police radio. So we have a police radio. This has been very helpful, especially in Chicago, uh, to find out when police are blocking protesters in and arresting everybody. We got caught up in Pittsburgh and beat up and arrested because we didn't have a police radio. We didn't know what was happening. Uh, and just you always, one thing ha you have to make sure you have is an extra battery. We have an energizer pack that lasts for days and doesn't go out. So this charges up the GoPro, uh, the iPhone, the other smartphone and the other electronics here in my gear. So, Pete, what's your assessment? What kind of cop blocker am I? I think you're, uh, the tech you have uh, makes you a pinnacle cop blocker. It's a pretty excellent system, no doubt about it. What can we do better? Is there anything we could do? I mean, what do you recommend for other people to have? I mean, obviously, we built this system throughout almost, what, I've been doing this for 11 years, and I've been slowly collecting gear, building it all together. Obviously, this is, this is the most complicated gear you could ever have. But minimally, what do you think the most important gear here is? You know, I tend to be an advocate of, of streaming. You use you stream. You said I'll, I use Bamboozer. I think that's real important uh, to to get the content out uh, off site. But you know, that's especially true if you have 
if, if it's you plus somebody else out on the street, so one of y'all can be up close with the, with stream and somebody else can be further out maybe with this DSLR or another video camera. But uh, as you said, I mean, everything, uh, these additional layers you have, the, the excellent audio, the, the, the views you have, the protection for yourself, uh, you know, it, it all reinforces and makes for a top-notch system, you know. I, I think the, the, one of the many reasons that I was never really arrested at Occupy Wall Street, I mean, I was pepper sprayed, I was beat, I was thrown around, that happened. But I think when an officer looks at me and sees all these cameras, he's thinking, I'm going to have to log everything in. And also, I also have hidden cameras on me that I'm not going to tell you about because I know who's watching. I'm not going to tell you about these hidden cameras, but... Uh, the more video cameras you have on you, the safer you are. Can you just you know, break, break it down? Why is it important to film the police? Having an objective record of you know, the interaction between yourself or somebody else and police employees is, is crucial because otherwise, you know, if something goes down and you don't have that video, then, it, then there's a situation where it's you versus their word. And when their friends are the people judging the situation, they tend to side, <clears throat> they tend to side with those folks with badges. So the, the camera you know, creates that transparent record and uh, speaks truth. One last thing I forgot to bring to you. Worst comes to worst. Uh, we're in a horrible situation. There's a major protest. Police officers are pushing everybody out. We have a backup for a backup. And we actually have a DJI Phantom drone here uh, that's uh, being able to go up in the air, goes up a couple thousand feet uh, with a GoPro, and that's mounted up there. And uh, that's able to get a lot of the visual shots. Do you think, what, what do you think of the toys, as, as we call them? I mean, it, it's somewhat impractical, but you never know when you're going to use it. And my major philosophy is if you could have more video cameras, you should have more video cameras. Yeah, I yeah. definitely agree. You know, there might be a situation, and if you, if you don't capture it and you need it, you know, you're out of luck. So you, it's, it, uh, it behooves you to, to film more, you know, to safeguard yourself and others in the community. And, and these uh, multiple layers that you have uh, definitely make that possible. Thank you, Pete. Check out copblock.org and uh, film. The truth is in your hands. It's up to you to use it.